Are you afraid of snakes? Don't be shy. It is normal to be afraid of anything that can cause your death. But we shouldn't forget that snakes are not just wild animals. Some snake species are shy, some are docile, and some are even too lazy for confrontation. Many snake lovers will most likely say it's just a snake and you shouldn't be afraid, but I beg to differ. Here are 20 snakes you should definitely run away from. Number 20. Texas White Rat Snakes This may sound like a role play, but the Texas White Rat Snakes are very submissive. They are a subspecies of the rat snake and are a non-venomous species. As their name implies, you can find them primarily in Texas, but their range goes as far as Louisiana, Kansas, and Oklahoma. Though their colors are neutral and may vary depending on their environment, these species come in many variations like the albino, leucistic, and scaleless variety. However, the Texas white rat snakes usually have a yellow or tan upper body. The white rat snakes have a lifespan of 10 to 15 years, but some can live up to 20 years if they are well cared for. Both males and females grow as long as a human being, which is approximately 1 to 6 feet. They have an attitude to match, but that is not why they are very dangerous. The white rat snakes are aggressive and will attack by striking first. They will either bite or smear foul-smelling musk on their attacker. These snakes are not poisonous, but their attack can happen to anyone that they are not familiar with or consider a threat. Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Green Anaconda Weighing about 550 pounds, the green anaconda is the heaviest snake in the world. This species can be found in Southern America, and unlike most snake species, they thrive both on land and in water, which is why most of them can be found in swamp habitats. The green anaconda can grow as long as 25 feet and as large as 12 inches in diameter. The green anaconda is non-venomous, but it is a carnivorous reptile. Reproduction is not a problem because the female species that is significantly larger than the males reproduce two to three dozen young ones and the babies are about two feet long when born. The diet includes wild pigs, boars, deers, birds, turtles, and sometimes jaguars. The good news is, because of its size, this snake species spends a lot of time inside or around water. However, the green anaconda is capable of camouflaging itself among plants and water to stalk and wait for its prey. It feeds by cooling its muscular body around its prey, constricting blood flow to its heart, and when it's dead, the green anaconda swallows them whole. Humans should avoid an encounter with the green anaconda if they don't want to be its next meal. Number 18. Reticulated Python this snake can be mostly found in Southern and Southeast Asia, and it is the reticulated python. With a total of 320 pounds, the reticulated python is among the top three heaviest snakes in the world. It is also the longest snake in the world, with a length of record 28.9 feet. For a large snake, it has a very surprising feature that will shock you. The reticulated pythons have a small growth on the side of its pelvis that can be seen as its legs. If you have heard of pythons, you must have been told they are aggressive and dangerous. While that may be true, the reticulated python doesn't display aggression in its natural habitat. However, like most animals, reticulated pythons can lose their temper. Thanks to pet trafficking, some pythons have attacked their caregivers, pets and even children if they are taken away from their natural habitat. When it comes to hunting, they are fast in capturing their prey using their teeth that curve backwards, but they take time to coil their body around it to constrict its movement and blood flow. The jaws of the python are also flexible, so they don't unhinge their jaws while they feed, and they can swallow prey two to three times larger than their head. Number 17. Rattlesnake the rattlesnake, famous in children's stories but cannot be set to a single habitat because of their ability to survive in deserts, swamplands, and even green meadows. You can find rattlesnakes in the United States, Mexico, and Southern America. As the name implies, rattlesnakes have a rattle-like tail which vibrates a hissing sound to ward off predators. 
This species also hear by sensing vibrations, so it will be difficult to take them by surprise. A fascinating fact about rattlesnakes is that they have cat-like eyes, which make it easier for them to ambush their prey. Their reproduction process is limited since they can only reproduce once every two years. However, their females don't lay eggs. They incubate their eggs inside their body and have a live birth after 90 days. One good reason to avoid them is that their bites are poisonous, which is probably why you hear about them in stories. They can also attack within the fifth tenth of a second so you may not have time to run. The good news is rattlesnakes don't go hunting for humans. Most people who get bitten accidentally stumble on them and only 1% of rattlesnake bites result in death. Number 16. African Rock Python even if you're not afraid of snakes, one snake species you should definitely avoid is the African rock python. Though they are non-venomous, they can eat prey from small birds to prey as large as antelopes and even crocodiles, which means they are capable of swallowing a human being. However, documented attacks of the African rock python on a human is very rare and there are no reports of a human being consumed. Why does this piece of information bring great relief? Snakes are terrifying indeed. The African rock python is Africa's largest snake. This species is a native to sub-Saharan Africa and is one of the seven largest snakes in the world. It can also grow as long as 20 feet and can be found in various habitats like forests and near deserts. However, African rock pythons usually stay near a water source. Unlike most advanced snakes, African rock pythons have two functioning lungs and two small pelvic spurs on their sides. The python kills its prey by constriction, but death happens through cardiac arrest because it squeezes tighter with every breath taken by the prey. They feed on large rodents, monkeys, warthogs, vultures, fruit bats, and any prey to come its way. When it comes to reproduction, African rock pythons lay 20 to 100 eggs and their females are overly protective of their nest. Even after they hatch, the female python coils her young for about two weeks to protect them from predators. Number 15. The Gaboon Viper we have been dealing with non-venomous snakes to this point, but this snake species is not like the rest. Bites from the Gaboon Viper should be considered a medical emergency. They are highly venomous and have the longest fangs of about 2.5 inches. Its venom is highly poisonous, the second after the King of Cobras. The good news is that it is very rare to get bitten by one because of their unaggressive nature and as a plus, they mostly reside in rainforests. They are also sluggish and unwilling to move even when approached by humans. Gaboon Vipers could be docile and handheld like the non-venomous species, but I wouldn't recommend that. When threatened, the Gaboon Viper would hiss loudly as a warning. The people that get bitten by Gaboon Vipers are mostly who step on them. Gaboon Viper is a viper species that is found in the rainforest and savannas of sub-Saharan Africa. They strike their prey with fast precision, holding onto it with their long fangs and waiting for it to die before feeding. Their diet choice is a variety of birds, mammals, and amphibians. Number 14. Common Death Adder This snake species has death in its name. If that doesn't tell you to stay away, I don't know what will. The common death adder is a snake species common in Australia and is one of the most venomous snakes in the world. Their venoms have highly toxic neurotoxins which can cause paralysis and ultimately death. But before the first production of antivenom in 1958, it was estimated that 50% of death adder victims die from a bite. Pets are not exempted from this because if a dog gets bitten, they have about 30 minutes or less left to live. The common death adder is mostly found in forests, woodlands, and grasslands. Their fangs are the longest of all snakes in Australia. They also prey on small animals and birds for food. To hunt for food, they coil their body and lay ambush and wait for their prey sometimes for days. They go unnoticed due to their perfect camouflage skills. When prey comes by the death adder's attack, it strikes quickly injecting its venom into its prey. It can deliver the fastest strike among all venomous snakes in Australia. Humans die within 6 hours of a common death adder's spite. Number 13. The Indian Cobra have you ever heard of snake charmers? They sound like a myth, but the snake species usually included in that myth are the Indian Cobra. The snake species have other names like Spectacled Cobra, Asian Cobra, and Binocellate Cobra. Have you ever wondered what it would feel like if you run into an animal that only occurred in folk tales? You may get excited if it's Zeus or any of the gods. However, how would you react if it were a snake? You can't even picture it, right? Though the Indian cobra is moderately sized, it is part of the heavy-bodied snake species. It is mostly known for its wide back and slender neck features. Mm -hmm. 
Many specimens have a hood mark located at the rear of their hood, and some specimens may grow up to six or seven feet, but it's most common. The venom of the Indian cobra contains a very powerful postsynaptic neurotoxin and cardiotoxin that is capable of paralyzing muscles. In several situations, a bite can lead to respiratory failure and cardiac arrest. The venom also has an enzyme that increases the spread through the muscles. Though this snake species is responsible for many bites, the venom mortality rate of the Indian cobra is only 20 to 30 percent, but with victims who received early treatment, the mortality rate is reduced to 9 percent. The Indian cobra feeds on rodents, lizards, and frogs. It waits until its venom paralysis and often kills its prey before feasting. To avoid the risks of getting bitten, humans should definitely avoid them. Number 12. Black Mamba Though its name sounds like a dance move, this famous snake is part of a highly venomous species, so you don't want to be around them. As opposed to the name, black mambas are mostly brown or gray. They can grow up to 14 feet long, making them the second longest venomous snake after the king cobra. Black mambas are mostly found in sub-Saharan Africa and is the most feared snake in Africa because of its size and aggressive tendencies. Research shows that a high number of snake bites in South Africa between 1957 and 1979 was from the black mamba species. Bites from the black mamba species are very rare outside Africa. Its venom does not cause swelling in the bitten area, but you may experience a tingling sensation. One surprising fact about black mambas is that they are very shy and will avoid confrontation if they can. They have a permanent lair from which they hunt prey. This snake should be nicknamed the introverted snake. If it isn't necessary, a black mamba may never leave its lair. When they feel threatened, they send warnings by hiss, after which they will attack repeatedly, secreting venom on their attacker. The snake bites repeatedly so victims will have multiple puncture wounds. Number 11. Fur de Lance This is another snake species capable of camouflaging with their environment. The snake goes by many names in different cultures, the most famous of which is the fur de lance snake. This species is famous for its swift attack and like other venomous snakes, it avoids confrontation with people. You should avoid them too for your safety. Fur de lance is part of the viper family and the maximum length they can grow is 8.2 feet. They like to stay in moist habitats and are less active in colder or drier seasons. This snake is considered the most dangerous snake in Costa Rica because it is responsible for over 46% of snake bites before 1947 and the fatality rate was at 9%. In almost every version of its name, it's likened to a lance and like it. Fur de lance is known to move very quickly and just as irritable. If bitten, you may experience pain and swelling that may keep increasing for up to 36 hours. The venom of fur de lance is so effective that a creature like Diphilid, Opossums are considered to be immune to vipers, and rattlesnake venom can still fall from fur de lance. Number 10. Boomslang What's scarier than knowing you have snakes around is knowing there is one that loves sitting in trees. The boomslang snake is otherwise known as the green tree snake, which is the English translation of boomslang from the South African tongue. They are a species of highly venomous snakes from sub-Saharan Africa. As the name implies, they are mostly green in color but have the ability to camouflage in their environment to hunt down their prey. Though it doesn't happen often, boomslangs can attack humans when they feel threatened. Thus, humans should avoid this species very much because even a small scratch can be fatal. The venom of a boomslang is so deadly it can disrupt blood clotting and this can kill a person. When it is ready to strike in defense, it inflates its neck before lunging forward with speed. The boomslang has rear fangs, but the fang is in the forward part of the mouth so it's easier to get scratched or bitten. Boomslangs can grow up to 2 meters long and they have a binocular-like vision that helps them spot their prey easily. They eat small animals like frogs, chameleons, birds, and eggs. Number 9. Flying Snake this next snake species seems like they're having fun most of the time, or maybe their ancestor had monkeys or as role models. I'm talking about the flying snakes. No, they can't fly, but they do take pleasure in jumping from one tree to the next. This species is mildly venomous, but mostly to their small prey. They prey on animals such as lizards, rodents, frogs, birds, and bats. Flying snakes are able to glide better than flying squirrels and other gliding animals, despite their lack of limbs or wings. They are mildly venomous, but their tiny fixed rear fangs make them harmless to humans. Although flying snakes are not included in the list of snakes harmful to humans, it is still best you avoid them and keep them away from pets and children. There have only been a few cases of human beings being exposed to flying snake venom. 
it is still best to be safe because the snake may not stay up in the tree forever. There are five recognized subspecies of the flying snake and they can grow as long as four feet long. Flying snakes have incredibly strong muscles that allow them to climb the trees and suspend over half of their body to stay in position before they leap into the air. Number 8. Tiger Snakes Tiger snakes are potentially fatal to humans. This species of snake is a member of the cobra family and can be found in southern Australia. It is also very easy to spot them for their stripes. As the name implies, the skin tone of the tiger snake is between orange to light yellow skin and they have about 23 to 35 black bands across their body. The venomous snake can grow as long as 3 foot 11 and is very aggressive. Its venom, which is used to kill prey and aggressors, contains blood clotting agents and nerve paralyzers and these are considered fatal to humans. However, because of their dislike for cold weather, tiger snakes are most active during warmer nights. Tiger snakes account for 17% of snake bite incidents between 2005 and 2015, which resulted in four confirmed deaths. They are considered lethal because mortality rates for unrelated bites are between 40 to 60%. They live in moist, dry, or rocky areas and have up to five subspecies. Tiger snakes are usually found in coastal regions because they favor wetlands, creeks, and dams. They prefer a habitat close to a water source. As for reproduction, the female tiger snake gives birth to 20 to 30 live young ones, but the birth record is presently at 64. Like most predators, they feed on smaller animals like frogs, birds, and mammals. Number 7. Russell's Viper Russell's Viper. This snake species may be hard to avoid because of its choice of habitat. It already accounts for most snake bite deaths anywhere it is found because Russell's Viper chooses to reside near farmlands with human contact and an abundance of rodents. It doesn't help that this snake species is highly venomous. The Russell Viper is a nocturnal run sack, which means it searches for food at nighttime. However, during cold weather, it changes its behavior and becomes more active during the day. Although their adults are reportedly sluggish if found, just stay away from them. They are insanely strong and may react violently if you pick them up. When humans get bitten by Russell's Viper, they experience symptoms such as pain in the bite area and swelling. Signs of blood may come up after about 20 minutes of the bite, followed by a blood pressure drop and a heart rate fall. Even after treatment, the pain from the bite may last for two to four weeks. Russell's viper snake species is one of the top four big snakes in India and can grow as long as five feet. Scientists also speculate that the Russell vipers grow to mimic their environment. Number six, it's the coastal taipan snake. If you are not careful around the coastal taipan, you could possibly die because this is another highly venomous snake species. They are extremely violent, especially when you try to pick them up. Any movement near them is likely to result in an attack. Unlike most snakes, taipans can twist their bodies to attack backwards and they have longer fangs than most snakes in Australia, which is about 12 millimeters long. They are also the second longest venomous snakes in Australia. Although it is considered the third most venomous terrestrial snake in the world, it is also classified as a snake of medical importance by the World Health Organization. Coastal Taipan is active throughout the year, but you are more likely to encounter them in late winter and spring. Their preferred habitat is warm, wet, tropical coastal regions. Taipan is known to feed on warm-blooded prey like rats, mice, bandicoots, and various species of birds. The venom of the coastal Taipan is very lethal to humans. Victims are likely to experience headaches, nausea, convulsions, especially in children, paralysis, internal bleeding, and kidney damage. Early administration of antivenom is advised and it should be given within two to six hours. Number 5. Branded Crate Snake With its black and yellow striped body, the banded crate is a shy, nocturnal venomous snake species. It's obvious it got its name as a result of the crossband colors of its skin. Their venom may be fatal to humans, so you should avoid them at all costs. Branded crate's venom is neurotoxic, so it affects the nervous system, causing paralysis, respiratory failure, and eventually death. Because of its reluctance to bite, fatalities from banded crates are rare. They are very shy, so they coil their body to avoid being seen, which is easier since they are mostly nocturnal. Snakes normally get aggressive when you invade their territory or try to force them to do something they don't want to do. However, when the branded crate is attacked, it chooses to hide its head instead of attacking so you can say they are not aggressive in nature. Branded crates are sluggish even under provocation, but you shouldn't forget they are poisonous. When they do bite, they hang onto their tracker with their fangs for a while before letting go. Their main diet is other snakes, but they can also eat fish, frogs, snake eggs, and rats. The longest branded crate was about 7 feet 5, and its species is believed to become a full adult by its third year. Number 4. Inland Taipan The Inland Taipan is often cited as the world's deadliest snake. 
If you refuse to avoid it, I will avoid it for my safety. They are mostly found in Australia and have highly specialized receptors in their tongue that allow them to detect chemical signatures in the air leading them to their prey. Due to the chemical complexity of its venom, the inline taipan is by far the most toxic of all snake venoms, more than that of even sea snakes. One bite from an inland taipan is enough to kill 100 humans. Their smooth and glossy scales reduce friction during movements, and their attack on prey is swift and accurate. Its movement is extremely fast and strikes are accurately done even during multiple attacks. Although this snake species are quite shy and avoid confrontation, they will also attack when they have to defend themselves and that is not a good tale for humans. Inland Taipan mostly feeds on medium-sized mammals. They take pleasure in cornering them in cracked soil or burrows and attacking multiple times until their prey is them. Once the prey's heart stops, the Inland Taipan processes to swallow them whole. Number 3. Coral Reef Snake now the top three snakes you should avoid are the coral reef snakes. Coral reef snakes, also known as sea snakes, venomous snakes that live in marine habitats. With about 70 subspecies, only one is non-venomous and feeds on small fishes. This species enjoys staying in the water while humans stay on land. You may be thinking you don't have to avoid them, but don't be too sure because you take a dive during your vacation in Hawaii. While some of them never leave water even when they have to reproduce their young, there are other species that go on land to reproduce and rest. Coral reef snakes can grow as long as 4 to 5 feet and they have paddle-like tails causing them to resemble eels while underwater. They can dive to depths of over 330 feet and their diet includes fish, crabs, and fish eggs. Some species stalk their prey before attacking while others simply attack. Although there are cases where coral reefs have bitten humans, they are very reluctant to bite and may sometimes avoid secreting venom. When a bite does happen, it is usually painless and the teeth can remain in the wound of the victim. The venom acts very slowly, only taking effect within 30 minutes to several hours. The victims may experience aching, stiffness, and tenderness of the muscles. In humans, the venom targets the cell walls of voluntary muscles. Number 2. Pit Vipers from a subfamily of vipers, the pit vipers are venomous species recognized by the presence of heat-sensing pit organs located between their eyes and nostrils. They use it to track the heat signature of their prey. All pit viper species are venomous, but their level of toxicity differs between species, so not all of them are lethal to humans. However, there is almost no way of knowing that it's best to stay away and avoid getting bitten. You can find pit vipers in various habitats like deserts or rainforests. They come in different size ranges, but the longest, a pit viper snake, has grown up to 12 feet. Although a few species are active day by day, the green pit viper is fully nocturnal. They prefer hunting at night since the air is cooler and some pit vipers bite their prey and release it. It then stalks its heat signature before feeding on it. For reproduction, the eggs remain inside the mother's body until it's time to hatch. The shells are then reduced to soft membranes that the young ones shed as they are born. They immediately take to living freely as they please. Number 1. The Mojave Rattlesnake the winning species for snakes you should avoid at all costs go to the Mojave Rattlesnake. It is a highly venomous pit viper species best known for its potent neurotoxic hemotoxic venom which also considered the world's most potent rattlesnake venom. The venom does damage to the brain and nervous system plus muscle and tissue destruction. You do not want to get bitten by the Mojave Rattlesnake. They are the most active from April to September and they feed on small rodents and lizards. Though they are dangerous, they rattle their tail when approached by strangers to serve as a warning. Do not ignore the warning because like other rattlesnakes, they will defend themselves when disturbed. The Mojave rattlesnakes are found in desert habitats or the southern United States and Mexico. Their adult length is about 137.3 centimeters and their skin color varies depending on their movement. When a person is bitten, the serious signs and symptoms can be delayed which will lead you to underestimate how severe the bite is. However, a significant amount of Mojave rattlesnake venom can cause issues with vision, swallowing, and even speaking. Extreme cases of the bite can even result in skeletal muscle weakness which will cause difficulty in breathing and respiratory failure. If you ever get bitten by a snake, try to stay calm and call emergency services immediately. We sometimes find snakes far away from their habitat due to pet trafficking. Thus, avoid pet trafficking and report any suspicions to the authorities. Do you know any snake we skipped that should be here? Have you been bitten by one of them in the past? Let us know in the comments down below. You should check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. See you next time!